Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And today, it's Motivational Day. It could be Tuesday, it could be Wednesday, it can be Thursday. This covers all the weeks. Because today, I'm at my alma mater at Sonoma State University in California. On campus for the first time in years. But look at this. Beautiful campus over in Sonoma, where the wine country is. So we're going to talk about it. The reason why it's motivational. You're going to find out a little something about me today. So please like, subscribe, and click the bell so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. Welcome back. So let's go with the first journey for motivational Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I first started at the University of Florida. That's right, Gatorland. But what did I do? I messed that off. I didn't study. I partied, played with the girls when I should have been studying, keeping my head down and making things happen. So it didn't work out. Academic probation. So what happens? That school has like 30, 40,000 students at the time. So I felt in order for me to get my act right, I better come to a school that only has like five to 7,000 students. And then when you get here, you can see how beautiful it was. Nothing major. You know you're gonna study because it's gonna be boring as hell. So when you get here, I put my head down, got into the books, learned a lot, studied a lot. I even played a little basketball while I was here, just so you know. And uh, student athlete was the order of the day. So notice I did not show the gym first because that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is getting your books, studying, knowledge, finding out what you like, your passions. Don't let anybody stop you from doing what you got to do. It was a struggle, but we all made it happen. So with that said, I'm going to be producing uh, I'm this this in the mix here today. I'm going to add this guy that's on YouTube named producer Michael because he had some tidbits of information in one of his videos that he's going to allow me to use. And I thought that a lot of people should hear this because he's a rich guy. Why hear it from me? Hear it from another guy that hangs out with the rich and famous. So what do we got? Spectator's Wine Center because we're in wine country. So anyhow, the point I'm trying to make today is just because you start out a certain way and things get hard, things get rough, you can always pick yourself up. There's always a way. Just when you think it's dark, just when you think you can't go any further, just when you think that, hey, maybe I can't do it, and you start doubting yourself, what I'm trying to tell you is it's normal, but after you doubt yourself, what are you going to do? You have to make a plan. That's what we're all about here at StopStrugglingNow.com. Make a plan. Make things happen. Believe in yourself. Don't give up. All of that. And, not, and the last but not least, education does matter. You can't just open up a can and be successful in anything. You have to study your craft. You have to study what you want to be successful at. That's on you. That's what you have to do. So with that said, we're going to cut to the chase. Producer Michael, it's your turn. So you obviously started off in music, for people that don't know that. Uh, how did you transition from music to uh, TV and film production? The music industry in the early 2000s kind of went downhill with the introduction of Napster and similar sites to it uh, and I just figured hey there's there's really no point in doing music anymore uh, plus the trends were changing and it was music that I didn't really understand so I figured hey why not get into TV and film uh, I've watched enough films in my life and you know so many TV shows 
I figured, hey, I can do this. So I studied and I learned how to do it. I uh, met with some creative people, came up with some great concepts and filmed my first show. It wasn't a great show and uh, I'm not even going to tell you about it because it was a flop. <laughs> it never got picked up. I spent a lot of money, a lot of time and it just failed. And I'm the type of guy that won't let failure exist. So I thought, well, I'll do it again. And I did it another three or four times before it actually happened. And then when it did happen, then it became easy because I'd learned. Uh, I never gave in and just rolled through it. Now I do this for fun and for a living and pays the bills, pays for my cars. Uh, I love it. able to choose a cast. There's a lot of people in the comments uh, on the last few videos who perhaps don't know who you are, uh, who have just come in because they saw the video on the suggested page. And there's a lot of negativity around people that have wealth. What can you tell them in terms of what has been your kind of secret to success? One word, determination. When I was 19 years of age, I was washing dishes for the British Army. Trust me, that's no fun at all. I've never seen so many dishes in my life. I wasn't in the army, I was a civilian working in the army in Berlin, Germany, and it was horrible. And I just told myself, hey, I'm going to do something with my life, and I studied, and I studied, and I suffered. I lived very, very uh, poor means, saved every dime I had and put it into my education. Fortunately, um, it paid off. I mean, I just, I continue to learn. I think every day is a learning day. and. Um, I, I'm, you know, never going to give up. So uh, I, I, I'll, I'll continue. It's not about the money anymore. It's about the passion. Um, the money is obviously nice, but I love doing this, and I think I'm good at my craft, and I look to get better and better every time I do it. There's something mm -hmm. awesome in there. I agree. Yeah, something there's awesome. something there. Something's, Something's amazing, amazing in there. there. Mm -hmm. Okay, who's next? Uh, Kiss. Kiss, your yeah. All right. You crying again? I know. I am. She gets me. <laughs> So again, I'm, I'm doing this and I'm sharing this with you for one purpose only. And the purpose is to let you know you can do this too. It doesn't matter what you've got, where you are. Like I said, I wash dishes for the British Army. And here I am today with supercars, nice watches, nice lifestyle. Um, I did that myself and I did it through determination. There's no reason you can't do it too. Some people uh, in the comments, it's very sad actually, and I feel for them. Um, they write nasty comments. I guess they just don't like wealthy people. I don't think they would think that way if they won the lotto, but that's not a way to get wealth. The way to get wealth is believe in yourself. I mean, really, believe in yourself. Don't take no for an answer. Go after what you dream of, make it happen. I hope you follow this advice, because it works. I'm the living proof. Thank you, enjoy.